Hey there everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian, this is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And on this episode of 3B TV, we are going to start building our uh, coop and run for our meat birds. Um, they're about three weeks old yesterday. I was thinking about putting them outside this weekend, but uh, Mother Nature has been acting like a psychotic drunk. And uh, so, <laughs> I'm gonna wait one more week, but I am gonna go ahead and start building right in this area here, the um, uh, coop that I'm going to build for them. And uh, I'm going to use um, Jason Smith over at Coghill Farm. Uh, I'm gonna use his idea of uh, basically building a temporary um, hoop coop uh, that's gonna be uh, cattle panels arched using some T-posts covered with a tarp and some wire. I'm going to be, uh, I've got it on the way, I've got some um, portable poultry netting coming from uh, Premier One Poultry that I'm going to use to enclose this area around here. And uh, so we're going to see how things work out. I hope that I won't have too much of a problem with predators. I'm going to be doing some predator protection. Um, but anyhow, right now the first thing we need to do is uh, we have uh, some down trees that we need to clear. We've got some brush over here that I'm going to cut out. Um, so uh, let's get to work and uh, let's get a chicken coop built here for our um, broilers. Let's go. Well, that ain't good. Now I have most of the brush cleared away, or at least cut away. I'm gonna clear it away, pile it over here. Eventually it's gonna get onto a big brush pile down in the back. And this summer, we'll have a nice big bond pile. I'm going to before I get my netting. Once I have my uh, uh, portable poultry netting, then I'll figure out how I'm going to run that. And I'm probably going to cut some pads through um, the brush. But right here is where I'm going to actually right in about here is where I'm going to set up my uh, mobile run or my temporary coop with the uh, uh, cattle panels. So uh, what I'm going to do is I've got. Um, my driver here, I'm going to set up three on that side, then I'm going to measure over about 10 feet, set up three on this side, then you bend the cattle panels in like that, it'll make a hoop. And uh, so let's go ahead and get that done. I fight here is I have a lot of rock here, a lot of shale. Um, this actually, uh, Bald Mountain used to be back in the 1800s was where they mined lime off of here and so a lot of the, um, the, the scrap chunks of uh, rock, in fact let me just spin this right around so you can see it right over there. Um, I have that all over the place and uh, so sometimes find that a place where I can drive posts is a bit uh, on the um, challenging side. So we'll see what we get.
got one T-post in, kind of, sort of. Um, so let's try for uh, number two. Number two went in so easy, it scares me. Number three was a little tougher to get in than number two, but we got it done. Let's go on to number four. And this is where that rock starts kicking my butt. Um, I've got three posts in, but I can't get a fourth post either direction. So we're gonna have to switch things up and try another location. That's just how it is. Well, folks, it's just not going to work for me. Um, I gave it my best, but there comes a point in time when you've just got to tap out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to buy four uh, pressure treated two by fours and uh, just make a uh, another hoop coop. Um, I really didn't want to do that um, or a hoop style house. Um, really, really didn't want to do that just because now I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with that when I, I don't have meat birds in it. Um, I really like the idea of being able to just collapse this and put it away and get it out of uh, 
out of the way. Um, you can always use cattle panels around, um, but it's just, it's too rocky here. And uh, so I am just wasting a lot of time uh, trying to make this work. So uh, it was a good idea. Um, I experimented. There's probably other areas on my property where I might be able to do it, but I, I should have learned. Um, when I was uh, uh, putting in the fencing for the pigs, I had such a hard time getting that in. And uh, honestly, I thought up here might be a little bit better. Um, but the thing I forgot is there used to be a driveway that came right through here. And uh, then they, um, when the property was um, split up uh, differently, they moved the driveway over to where, where uh, the camera is now. And, uh, and they're letting, they tend to let this start growing back up. So there's probably crap tons of gravel underneath here and who all knows what else is in here. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, you win some, you lose some. Things don't always go according to plan, but there just comes a point in time when you have to know, uh, you, you just gotta switch gears. And so I'm gonna run over to, uh, to Lowe's uh, and uh, pick up a couple of pressure treated 2x4s. I'm probably not going to do it today. Um, I don't need to have this done until probably the end of next week. Um, so I'm going to go on to some other projects that I have around here and uh, we will revisit this next week uh, here on 3B TV. So this is an episode where not much happened um, according to plan. Um, but uh, sometimes that's how things go. And uh, I've promised you on this channel that uh, I'm gonna share with you the good, the bad, the ugly. When things go right, when things don't go right. Today was one of those days when things didn't necessarily go right, but I learned some things and uh, learned what not to try. And uh, so we're gonna just carry on. So until next time, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Uh, give us a like, share, subscribe, and hopefully next time on 3B TV, we will have a finished chicken coop for our meat birds. Um, because I got to get them out of the basement by the end of next week. Got a week to figure this out, so I'm not stressing too much. Um, I think that uh, just putting together a bit of a hoop coop here, going to work for me. Um, just really didn't want to do that. So I'm going to think about maybe what I can do to make this a little less permanent of a setup. Um, if you've got any ideas, put them in the link below uh, or in the comments below um, and uh, give me your ideas on what I could do to put together a, a run here that wouldn't be quite so permanent. So until next time everybody, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you later.